finding purpose in life is one of those things that most people want, right? Whether we know it or not. As nice as it sounds, it can seem challenging to attain. Hey guys, it's only me today, Tiba from the MTZ Weekly Podcast, the show where you learn something new every time you join us. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram by typing MTZ Weekly Podcast, that is MTZ Weekly Podcast. And if you'd love to stay updated, follow us on Twitter. We have an account over there as well, it's called MTZ Podcast, MTZ Podcast, okay, that is on Twitter. We'd love to have you there. Our topic for today is secrets to finding your purpose in life okay let's dive in and know more about this topic okay as we said our topic for today is secrets to finding your purpose in life let me ask you all of you okay a question the person who's listening to me right now from wherever you are let me ask you this question do you think you've got your own purpose in life do you know your own purpose in this life have you set yourself a goal okay that you've worked according to it or that you're working according to that goal have you or haven't you because i think is that the combination of being a successful person having a successful you know like career uh, a loving family people who love you okay that is if it was family or if it was friends and it may actually seem the perfect thing for you know like a perfect life but there is more to that okay true you need family true you need friends you need perfect career uh perfect successful life but it's not only about that okay uh as to my personal point of view even those things even those people sorry even those people who have written lists of the things that they've done or if they uh, they want to do sorry even those people who have written lists okay of the things that what they want to do and every time they do such things they tick them off they feel there is something missing there's something that they need okay something you know like their purpose in life because during our life we do so much things even if you are you know an organized type of person that you tick you write them and you tick them off and all of that inside you you'd feel something is missing you need that thing and that thing is the purpose what is your purpose in this life have you got a purpose do you know your purpose in life so finding your purpose it's actually you know like more than a cliche or like a dream that will never be fulfilled it's um I think that it is actually like a tool for better, for happier and even healthier life. You can say that, that, you know, few people attempt to actually use or to actually gain it. Uh, As we know, uh, from many people from our life, they might not have purpose in life and they, they feel like they're lost in this life. They don't know what to do. They don't have a goal to wake up each morning, okay, to get to, like, for example, school or to get to uni or to get to work, uh, wherever you work or wherever you study. They think, why am I doing this? What is my purpose? And they even feel so tired and not bothered and they couldn't even be asked to do such thing or do such work. So I think if those types of people, they actually found their purpose in life, They'd have the energy, they'd have the courage, they'd have the people who surround them, who support them, okay, to actually get up in the morning, go to work, work hard, and, you know, achieve whatever you want in this life, okay? Because it's actually one of those things that most people want, like, you don't want to be lost in this life, you don't want to feel hopeless, or you don't want to feel that you have no purpose in this life, because otherwise you'd be like, okay, why am I alive anyways, right? (laughs) Because, like, I I feel like most people, they actually need that thing in their life to feel they're actually living, they, you know, they feel that that life is actually worth living, okay? Whether we know our purpose or not, it's actually... As it as nice as it sounds, it can be challenging to attain. Obviously, it can be challenging because from our childhood to our teenagehood and, uh, you know, to being adult, we need purpose in life. 
true we might be uh, we might be too what's the word too little okay too childish obviously in childhood but then when we grow up teenagers or when we when we'd be in our 20s or in our 30s we need purpose in life you want to wake up every morning having a goal in your head a thing that actually gets you up from the bed right uh, but the achievements that you might do in your life if it was big or small all these achievements did actually you know help you achieve that purpose in your life because every time you have your inner thought okay what am i gonna do today what am i gonna work what am i gonna achieve in this life you'd have the, that inner thinking inner thought in yourself that you are conscious of you being alive and the surrounding and the people that are around you and you need a purpose for that okay and the person the, that this personal sense of purpose actually guides you and sustains you to the goal that you want and to the purpose that you want um and that is day to day through the years you know even when you have like setbacks and the world turns upside down uh, purpose actually gives you stability and you know a sense of direction it leads you to wherever you want and to wherever you are destined because I, I believe that when we were born we are destined to some certain things that we like we are destined to it okay true you might have your own you might have your own choices however you have you have your life written down all for you okay that is my personal point of view I don't know about your personal point of view but yeah you can share it write it down whatever you are listening to me right now and this purpose this finding you know finding your purpose in is in life is essential for living a happy healthy life as i said before and it you know when you think about it asking yourself about what is my purpose it can actually seem like a difficult question at first but it is worth asking and trying to answer okay think about it deeply inside you okay in your mind about your thoughts think about it what is your purpose in life and that is that purpose finding it it can unlock greater satisfaction and you know success in all areas of life if that was money if that was family if that was finding your partner um if it was like being an independent successful person okay and all our life is based on our purpose and our purpose it can actually not only be for our own satisfaction for our own thing it can actually serve the world okay the world in general and your purpose in life okay is actually unique to you as your fingerprint because each person has his own purpose in life and we have all obviously each person is unique okay and we have a each person has a has a particular set of talents experiences and interests okay that actually light them up that make their the life happier and person and purpose is related to these things to your talents to your experiences to the things that you've been through okay to the works that you've done to the achievements that you've achieved okay and as i said it, it is the purpose why you actually get out of bed in the morning even when the day is so boring and you're so lazy and you're so tired of waking up but you just have to never give up okay you have to keep carrying on keep carrying on with your life with the with every day okay with the hardships that you face every day right now we're going to talk about how to find purpose in life how are you gonna find your purpose in life let me give you some tips first of all is develop a growth mindset you know like having a, a growth mindset is linked to having a sense of purpose having a growth mindset okay that is one second create a personal vision statement creating a personal vision statement can help you manage stress and you know like you have to balance your life and the aspects the different aspects in your life and it also serves as a you know like a roadmap that will you know like guide you towards your purpose by identifying your your values and establishments you know like the important aspects of uh, of your life right and third practice gratitude this is so this is so important practicing gratitude this is uh, to my personal point of view I, I feel like this is the first one i should i should have said but anyways practicing gratitude 
practicing gratitude is actually so important to you and to to anyone okay to this to, to this whole world okay because without practicing gratitude you're gonna feel you're gonna feel something is missing in your life okay you need to be thankful to everything you have to not compare yourself with anyone that is around you because the challenges that you face and the experiences and the all the things that you face is totally different than the people that are next to you okay so being thankful to all the things that you have and not comparing yourself with anyone around you and focusing on the same and focusing on your own your own path of life this is so important uh which number were we on fifth okay i think or fourth Turn your pain into purpose. The pain that you go through, okay, the pain that you suffer, if it was uh, from family problems, if it was from friendship, if it was uh, getting bad marks, getting bad grades in your exam, any type of pain that just, you know, makes you feel like you are struggling in life, okay? Turn it into purpose. That is so important because overcoming these challenges shape who we actually become and give us our unique you know our unique strengths and pers- different perspectives according to the problem okay explore your passion exploring your passion can actually help you so much exploring the things that you love exploring the things that you are so good at if it was uh, if it was in studying if it was in painting if it was in writing poetry any type of that Okay, exploring it can actually help you find your purpose in this life. Okay, another point and it is going to be the last point is surround yourself with positive people. They highlight this. Okay, put under lines, put 100 times, put 100 lines underline it. Okay, is surround your, yourself with positive people. Because I, from my personal point of view, is that if you surround yourself with negative people, lazy, tired, always mourning about each little things and complaining about it, is you're going to become like them. You are going to become like those type of people that you are going to surround yourself with. Therefore, what I'm going to say to you is always surrounding yourself with positive people. And that always helps. they always going to support you and encourage you. And you're going to have the same vibes as them. Okay? That is that for this episode. And finally, so thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll be grateful. Well, I'll be grateful. My sister is not here. Anyways, I'll be grateful if you could leave me a review on wherever you listen to my podcast from, whether it's Google Podcast, uh, Apple Podcast, Amazon Music, YouTube, and Listen Notes. Don't forget, to, don't forget to show us your love and support by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Just type MTZ Weekly Podcast and on Twitter by typing MTZ Podcast. That is MTZ Podcast. In the next episode, we'll be discussing and we'll be telling you why you should be happy why should you be happy okay stay tuned bye bye